What's happening, fam? LA Y'all Movement Still Moving. The book is entitled Lessons from a Non-Custodial Father at Amazon, Kindle, and Create Space. A link will be in the description box below as usual. This video is entitled Growing Out of Buffoonery. Um, everybody, once you hit a certain age in childhood, you know the difference between right and wrong. But as you get older, you start to, you know, in our culture, in the American culture, you start to think and start believing as a teenager or a young adult that buffoonery is cool. So, f for some odd reason, doing dumb stuff seems fun. Doing dumb stuff is the thing to do. And there's a difference between being young and making mistakes and doing dumb things because you're young and doing dumb things because you think dumb things are cool. And, you know, for years, um, I remember, you know, 90s, 2000s to you know, 2010s where we're at right now that I remember so many people doing things that in, in accepting things that were just buffoonery and people evolved and people grew out of it. I remember being young and, and the the um, guys got on weed at a young age because you know, they was listening to hip-hop and all of it, their favorite artists was smoking weed all the time, right? And the excuse back in the day was everybody smokes. You know, and then you had the people that was before that in the 80s on the Bob Marley vibe. And everybody, everybody does drugs. Everybody does this. And the problem with that was It was foolish to say what everybody does to cover up you doing something that you probably shouldn't have, shouldn't be doing. You know. And I'm just using that as an example because, you know, I remember guys grew up and they, they realized how much time they wasted believing the buffoonery. You know, the people that were drunks. But everybody drank. <sighs> and then... Five, ten, twenty years later, they look back and say, everybody doesn't drink, and I just wasted my life in a bottle. I wasted all this time chasing a bottle, and I got nothing but drunk out of it. Nothing really came from it. This, the feeling of being drunk is what what I ran, what, what excited me in life. You know, you'd be like, I'm an idiot for that, you know. The people had to grow out of the buffoonery that sex was going to fix something, you know. Oh, I'm having sex, so it's my driving force in life, you know. Nothing matters. Do I have to graduate college? No, it, it, I'm having sex, so that, that tops that. Do I have to uh, build anything, create something for my family or build on what my family has already given me? Not necessarily I could just use all of those resources to get more sex, and that just evens it all out, right? And then the years go by, and then you look up, and you're saying to yourself, like, I, did I really just waste some of my best years or some of my, or, or some of my inheritance on the idea that sex was going to equal all of this work that was put in. All this work that could have been put in. I got to grow up out of this before. Me, you know. Um, you know. The mentality that when you saw somebody successful. You hated on them. Or you wanted to hurt them. Or rob them. Or steal something from them. Or maybe even kill them. You know. Because you were in poverty and you were struggling and you felt like, you know, 
oh, it all, you know, I just robbed this person because I'm going through it and and I get by for this short period of time, but I promise one day when I really come up, you know, I'm going to fix all of these wrongs, which is so stupid because, you know, people have taken people's lives for a short come up. And you can't give that back. And not only can you not give that back, which you stole, which you've taken their life or robbed them for or, 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 or traumatized them for or, or maim somebody or cripple somebody for, it's something that even if you got away with it, whatever you tried to take from them, that you only had that for maybe a couple of weeks, maybe a month tops. And then you had to grow up out of the buffoonery is like, oh, I'm because I'm uh because I felt like I was dealt a bad hand in life, I'm gonna go actively try to to to, to come up by destroying other people's lives for a short period of time to get by. But I've never gotten by. And I've never fixed what I've destroyed in these other people's lives. I can never repay, give them back what I've taken away. So you have to grow up out of that buffoonery. You know? That's just that's just the, the crazy part about it. Some people grew up and they were guilty. And, and, and their guilt basically... Crush them. Some people use that guilt to, to, to become better people or become or try to help people. And some sometimes it worked. It's, sometimes life worked out well. Sometimes the karma came back on them and something happened to them when they were trying to do the right thing. But that's what happens when you're growing out of buffoonery. Growing up out of buffoonery. You know? Um... I mean, the opposite is that I saw the little Nicki Minaj thing. You know, I want to be taken seriously. Us as women, we need to be taken seriously. But she just made herself look like an idiot by having a, a magazine cover where she's having a menage a trois with herself and she's playing with herself. She, she's, a, she's a woman that's playing with a woman eating her out and playing with her vagina and at the same time another woman is on is in the middle and another woman's on top getting groped and everything but you want to be taken seriously but you you're supposed to be grown i mean you can't you know sometimes this soul sexuality is art is a is a crocker bull it's just you want to be ratchet as hell and unfortunately you know, for some of us, it takes for us to to have, excuse me, to have children that we know our acts are going to embarrass. And then all of a sudden, a light switch goes on that all the things that we thought were cool, not cool no more because we don't want our kids doing it. We don't want to be seen as the parent that, oh, that's your mama, that's your daddy that's out there doing that. Oh, you know, you don't want to, you know, you don't want them to, your mistakes, them to pay for your mistakes. And at the same time, one of the biggest parts of growing up out of buffoonery is you have no respect for your family and your name. Because if when you have respect for your family and your name, you don't do things to embarrass your family and embarrass your name because you and your family have a good name. So if they have a good name and you ruin it, you have no respect for it. If you're trying to build a name and you ruin it just doing before, just doing just silly, dumb stuff, then you don't care what happens to the people associated with you and how people look at your, your family members and how people are, are going to treat your, your generations coming up after you. You know, 
that's when people start changing their last name because they're not proud of the people they're around or they start using nicknames or they start disassociating themselves with people because you know they want to grow up out of the buffoonery you know so at the end of the day I look at it like you know and some of the things that we were taught as as, as youth you know now when we become adults it's like I can't do that I can't keep doing this this ain't this doesn't even make sense because when you have to explain your mindset to a child and, it, and, and a child looks back at you like, that doesn't even, and you know, the child's like, that sounds stupid. And you know that even what you're saying to a child sounds stupid to that child and that child knows what you're saying as an adult sounds stupid. That means you've been, you've been doing buffoonery too long. You know, and, we, and and if a child says that, you know how adults look at you, just give you that look like, oh, okay, you're an idiot. We, I'm done. I'm through. And and you don't want to be seen that way, so you try to um, get it right. And sometimes I hate to say this, some some of us get it right far too late. We think, you know, oh, I can make mistakes when I'm young. And the problem with that is, nobody. What young is is relative nowadays. See, tw you was at 18, 21, you was grown. Now, oh, you can be 45 and be considered young and you're doing dumb stuff because in your mind, society sees me as young. We're just young people. Bullshit. You know, you just don't want to grow up out of that buffoonery. You still want to be old saying you're young but not being grown. So, you know, it's, to me, it's just silly, man. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be out because I'm hurting tonight. So good night, people.